Hey, welcome to my channel and today I'm gonna tell you how I became cyclist. Here's the story. In my village it's normal that as a kid, like 6 years old, join volunteer firefighters. It was kind of big deal. So I joined volunteer firefighters at the age of 6. Three years passed and as a 9 year old kid in primary school I started playing football, which was normal in our class. We won many matches against other football clubs nearby. There was a lot of hard training, but the point of this was that we enjoyed playing as a team. We played football for around 4 years, but then we stopped playing for some reason. I really don't know why, but yeah, we stopped. I didn't have any hobbies at the time after football, so I played video games on our PC or neighbor's PC when I couldn't play at home. I mainly played Runescape and League of Legends on our PC with 32 megabytes of video RAM or Need for Speed Underground 2, which I played a lot on neighbor's PC. By meaning a lot, I mean like almost every day for 4 hours straight. I finally finished primary school, stopped playing Need for Speed and started going to secondary school of computer engineering, which at the end of first year, I get my glasses, bought and built my very first gaming PC. Oof, it was a beast in 2013. I started playing CSGO, which was pretty new at that time. I played in every possible free time that I had on my brand new PC. Other single players were also fun too because I loved, I really loved story based games. Meanwhile, me as part of Firefighter community joined every possible Firefighter competition as kids to improve every skill about Firefighters and other stuff related to it. That includes a bunch of quizzes. Where as a team we need to solve everything on paper, orientations, where we had to find working points and guide to them based on map and compass, or events where you need to complete specific tasks. 11 months passed and I reached age of 16, last requirement before I officially become volunteer firefighter. After 4 months of firefighting lectures in nearby city, I finally became Volunteer Firefighter. I was so happy that the lectures finally finished because they were every Saturday evening for 6 hours and every Sunday morning for 4 hours. Oof, I didn't have any spare time during the weekend and some of that lectures were so boring because I already knew everything. But there were some topics that were really interesting listening to. Another two years went by and my only exercise was still only doing 5 other practical. I wasn't that fat, but I didn't have any strength either. Imagine fat guy with really thin legs and arms, basically no real muscles, that qualified for 5 other SCBA training. Which is pretty muscle needing job, but at the same time I thought it should be a piece of cake for me. To get on that training, you are required to complete physical ability tests successfully. But I didn't think straight and I said it shouldn't be that hard to do it. So next month we are driving there with my friends and I was so nervous about it. We finally reached our destination, came inside the building and waited 5 to 10 minutes. I was walking up and down the corridor because of hype and stress at the same time. Then time finally came. Step in slowly and there was a stationary bike. I hop on that bike and they put a bunch of wheel pumps on me. It literally looked like VO2 max test, but they put a bunch of things all over your chest. Moment has come and I start pedaling. They said, every three minutes is gonna be slightly harder. Stage one was easy, but then stage two came and oof. Like someone would put another 50 kilos on my legs. It was so hard. I'm halfway over stage 2, I was breathing like a wild bull in Roda Arena and then suddenly here, we are done. I was so happy that torturing was finished. It felt like ages. I get off my bike and go home. In a few days I get test results over postmail, I open it, read it and it was saying that I finished only 47% of test because of reaching mass heart rate. I felt so bad. Probably because I was so confident that I'm gonna make it. I knew I didn't exercise at all in the last 4-5 years, but still. In that moment, I knew I had to do something about it. My sister had 6 gear trekking bike in the garage. 
and she didn't do it at all. So I put two old water bottle holders on bike and started biking with it. So thanks for watching guys, if you liked that video smash that like button, get subscribed or comment down below your cycling story. See ya!